గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ వెల్కమ్ టు హిందూ న్యూస్ పేపర్ అనాలిసిస్ ట్వంటీ థర్డ్ నవంబర్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ టూ ఫస్ట్ ఆర్టికల్ హైలైట్స్ సుప్రీం కోర్ట్ స్టార్టెడ్ టు క్రిటిసైజ్ గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా ఆన్ ద ఇష్యూ ఆఫ్ చీఫ్ సెంట్రల్ కమిషనర్స్ టెన్యూర్ ఇఫ్ యూ రీకాల్ టూ డేస్ బ్యాక్ వీ హ్యావ్ అపాయింట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ అరుణ్ గోయల్ యాజ్ ఏ ఎలక్షన్ కమిషనర్ ఎట్ ద టైమ్ ఐ డిస్కస్డ్ విత్ యూ ద బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ ఆఫ్ ఎలక్షన్ కమిషన్ ఇన్ విచ్ ఇన్ ద బిగినింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ ఇట్ వాజ్ single member body but after the 61st amendment in 1988 it was changed to multi member body because of reduction of water age but this article highlights about other important aspect that is the tenure of chief election commissioner it is one of the institutional problem in india because most of the institutions are lacking autonomy on one one side and other side they are also lacking a stable and secure tenure for the head of the institutions this is not only with respect to the chief election commissioner even couple of days back one research article highlighted low tenure or inadequate tenure of central pollution control boards and state pollution control boards so this article could be useful in writing uh, challenges to the implementation of policies and also institutional democracy and challenges and most importantly electoral reforms also we can use this so article highlights this uh, fact facts that uh, the tenure of election commissioner is uh, low and it is declining because in the 1950s it is 8 years but after 2000 it is average 200 days so around 200, 2015 to 2022 there were eight chief election commissioners and none doesn't have full tenure and here it is a gross violation of election commission condition of services of election commission and transition of business act 1991 which says that there should be 6 years tenure till 65 years but from last few years it was never implemented in the letter and spirit finally supreme court also observed that if you doesn't if you doesn't have a complete tenure for chief election commissioner it is not possible to follow impeachment process impeachment process for this for their removal and next article talks about india australia trade pact set to open up opportunities trade is one of the essential element for expanding our business of course even enhancing our value addition also as if you see that after covid 19 india witnessed a fall in trade in some some aspects of course there are global challenges like ukraine russia crisis even issues regarding the global turmoil because most of the developed countries facing sluggish growth that's the reason trade is very valuable and a welcome step now uh, it with india that is india agreed a trade pact with australia which is a very important step for expanding our trade so let us wait and watch for the next developments next article there was an interesting article written in editorial pace uh, the lead article talks about think local climate action think mina gadi understand this type of articles can be written in case studies point of view in environment at the same time it can be useful in essay writing in action segment climate change of course we can also use this in rural development point of view also because as the cities are engines of growth we know very well that cities are center for pollutions also however change now brought from the villages other highlighted about three to four villages in different parts of india highlighted about their significant growth and significant role in tackling the climate change other started by explaining from mina gadi in a city sorry village in um, kerala which became carbon neutral in 2016 and that uh, includes panchayati raj role a dedicated action plans for carbon sequestration meaning absorption of excess carbon by preserving biodiversity and they put forward a concept called as tree banking that is offering loans for the growth of trees and they used they are using geo tag technology to monitor the growth and that's signals a wonderful growth rate and meenagadi became one of the earliest carbon neutral villages in india 
the second story comes from polygram polygram a first and foremost carbon neutral city carbon neutral village in jammu and kashmir and here they follows conservation methods re reduction in energy and also cutting the fossil fuels use we have to appreciate pali village for two important aspects that is plantation bioglass plantations and also solar utilization of solar around 500 kilowatts further they even decided to abandon plastic uses in their villages then other highlighted one more village from tamil nadu and the name is odanthurai and this is this village established even a windmill so these are the success stories even other quoted about tikaravadi in maharashtra also which is a bioglass having a bioglass plant so all these examples we may not remember absolutely we cannot remember also but we can try to remember for writing effective answers and also can be asked in prelims also we can use this in prelims point of view also next coming to the point other also highlighted the same thing that is it is the plan of ministry of panchayati raj by, uh, to achieve the sustainable development goals in the village areas and this is a welcome step from india and we have to appreciate this initiatives and other city other states has to follow these measures in a better manner next article talks about initiative to widen reach of sukanya samriddhi yojana it is well known fact that sukanya samriddhi yojana was launched by government of india sukanya samriddhi yojana was launched by government of india in a way to support the girl child it is well known fact that it was launched in 2015 and the scheme is very famous scheme along with the beti bachao beti padhao so the scheme offers you amount amount for the savings and it will helpful to the girl child education as well as marriage time also next article talks about 10920 schools in state upload information for pm shri it is well known fact that in the month of september uh, pm shri scheme was launched pradhan mantri schools for rising india the scheme is implemented in 13 states and the ambition of the scheme is to upgrade the schools infrastructure school uh, infrastructure in terms of um, its uh, infrastructure in terms of its needs like lights and everything and they want to go for uh, water sufficient water toilets so on and so forth and these pm schemes are now uh, developed uh, developing to accommodate the needs of national education policy 2020 and it is it is highlighted in the document of pm shri that they are going to place green schools renewable energy supporting like solar panels and also focusing on focusing on digital infrastructure also next article talks about suicide prevention and strategies it is well known fact that suicides is one of the important and significant challenge in health sector because it was neglected also you know according to world health organization 2018 data india is one of the most depression country and it is also mentioned that infrastructure to tackle mental health issues is also very low in india as per world health organization data there is a shortage of psychiatrists in india because only 0.30 psychiatrists are available in india in china it is 1.7 and it is well known fact that a famous actor like sushant singh rajput also committed suicide to unable to tackle mental issues even norway prime minister in 1998 left his position because of this stress we cannot share this kind of things with others because others even not able to understand what we are exactly talking about so there is an important element that is suicides are a global pandemic in fact silent pandemic here usa doctor david stutter said that no health without mental health so mental health is one of the essential thing for all the well being so here is the government strategy from recent times you know government of india trying to tackle suicide for example we have national mental health policy in 1984 and we also have district mental hospitals in 1996 later in 2014 this government even put forward national health policy and in that they also mentioned about the prevention of mental 
mental illness and destigmatization and desegregation of the mental health issues very recently government of india launched a kiran helpline 24 by 7 and also now they launched a public policy that is national strategy for prevention of suicides and they put forward a target of 10 percent reduction by 2030 a time bound manner however then in india a peculiar situation is there because one is around 10 percent of suicide reasons are unknown the famous reasons are family tensions marital issues illness interdependence and most importantly love affairs these suicide affairs these suicide issues are very critical very few people talk about it further india also recorded second largest suicides in the recent time and the rise the rate of suicides also rising from 10.2 to 11.3 per 1 lakh and this has to be tackled by different aspects for example one aspect is availability of the death causing materials like pesticides or some tablets so on and so forth so one government of india has to tackle the this availability of materials on the other side it need to tackle the alcoholism or drugs because these are the major issues in the family relations creating suicide tendencies further who strategy is to have sectoral collaboration surveillance and availability of psychiatrist and men mental health curriculum and we have to follow the practices like yoga meditation to tackle these issues finally government need to invest more because the health infrastructure health funding is very very low for example countries like bangladesh even spending 4 4 percent uh, of the gdp india is not spending even 2.5 percent also so we need to focus more about this infrastructure development and last but not least proper col collaboration and cooperation from the society is need of the hour that's all for today thank you so much and jai hind